Hey Vaughn is the founder of Developer Academy and creator of Code Hangout. And yes, you are watching Code Hangout episode number 32. In this episode of Code Hangout, we're going to learn together how to play videos in iOS. Whether it is a local video or it is a video on the internet, we'll learn how to use those videos using play those videos using a framework in iOS called AV Kit and AV Foundation. So let's go down the link right down below, download the starter project and let's get started. Oh, when you go the link right down below, it will ask you for your name and email to sign up for a new member of Code Hangout because as always, I would love to send you more tutorials every week of Code Hangout and also I would love to give you my new free iOS course that I created for you and I believe that you will love it. So go down the link right down below, download the Star Project and we will get started in this episode of Code Hangout. First, let's learn how to play a local video using AV Kit and AV Foundation. What we want to do in this uh, episode of Code Hangout is when we click into this watch total iOS blueprint video of the course info screen, we will display a, photo, uh, a video, okay, whether it is a local video or it is a video on the internet. So let's first learn how to play a local video first. The first step we'll need is to import the AV Kit and AV Foundation. Those two frameworks are very, very powerful and it allows us to do something with things like play videos or things like record and audio audio and things like that very very easily so let's learn how to do that first let's scroll into the detail course detail view detail view controller open that okay because it is the controller for this screen and then i will import i will import the av kit like that and also import AV Foundation. Cool. And then we will scroll down into an IB action called Watch Video Did Click, which is that button. So when that button is click, let's first learn how to play a local video by calling this play local video method right underneath that. We in the star project we prepare a little movie download video for you okay which is an app this app actually okay now when we so we have that local video first we will need to get the URL of that video so let's learn how to get that URL if we have a local video or things like a local image or local file what you want to do in iOS is to use NS bundle which is a bundle of the project, the project itself, to get the URL of the file. So let file path equals ns bundle dot main bundle dot path for resources, which is it will return to us a string, and the resource here is the name of this videos walkthroughs and of typed is MOV, okay? Now we have a string path, the path of the video to the file. Let the video URL, the URL links, the NS URL links to this movie, which is equals NS URL file URL with path. And the path here is file path. So we have the video URL. Let me see what is this. We have to ungrab this file path. Okay. Next, we want to create a player of AV player that can play some videos. So let player equals AV player, and we have to provide the URL of the local video, which is video URL. Cool. Next, we have the player view controller to be AV player view controller. So that's another one. Then we want to set the player view controller dot player to be this 
player that we just create the IV player and then because this player view controller is just as normal view controller it means that we can present this self dot present view controller player view controller animated the true and completion is nil I'm sorry the completion in this one is not nil because after we complete showing or presenting this player view controller we want to make sure that we tell the player view controller dot player this player dot play so after we complete showing the view controller itself the player please play the video so let's run the project to see how it looks like Here we go, here's how our project looks like. Click into one, goes down. Click into the watch total iOS blueprint video and boom, we have that video and we can have some sound also. Oh, this video doesn't have some sound, but if your video has sounds, you can also have the sounds. And when we click done, we will dismiss this guy and goes back into our view controller. It's that simple. So that's how we can play the local video. Let's learn how we can play an external videos, how we can play an external video from the internet or into in, in the internet. Well, the process is basically the same when in terms of creating a video URL, player, player view controller, and present that and make that play. The only difference is the construction of the video itself, of the video URL. So I will just copy paste this guy, copy paste that, paste it into here, okay? Of course you can make it the same method and just pass in different URL, but I want to do it very separately so that you um, get the distinctions in this case, okay? So the, uh, the video URL in this case, we just have to change the video URL is NS URL with a string of video URL and we'll ungrab it okay so let's play this guy wait so this is oops because this is a local variable video URL and this is also a video URL so we want to make sure that it is self dot video URL Okay, so let's run it once again. Here we go. Oh, I forgot. We shouldn't. We should also call this play external video method. Okay, play external videos like that instead of play local videos because the demo I'm using here is a different video on the internet. Okay, click into that. Click the watch. Total RS Blueprint video and it is not our videos, of course. But this video it is on the internet, and the magic happens when AV Player or AV Kit does a job. We don't have to do anything. AV Kit streams the video from the internet for us. We don't have to touch any line of code of networking, threading, any fancy video code. How wonderful is that? All right, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Code Hangouts. If you have any questions, feel free to post it right down below at our blog. Or if you love to watch more video tutorials from me every week, every day, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and go to dukechan.cl or developersacademy.il and subscribe to our newsletter list. So every week, I can send you even more video tutorials. Oh, when you enter your name and email to subscribe to our newsletter. I already send you another video after you send you the startup project, right? After that video, inside that video, I send you another course, an iOS course I created for you, our new iOS course I want to give you as a free gift, as my thanks for checking out Code Hangout, for supporting me in this channel. So definitely check that out, goes back to your inbox and get that video tutorials series from me so until next time i see you in the next episode of court hangouts i see you at developers academy go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world